up you guys good morning um, we are well into 2020 and I'm always looking for ways to help people understand why the why and what of what you're doing because if I can help somebody to understand why I tell them to do what they're doing then I can get them to embrace it as a long-term lifestyle instead of a short-term resolution, so to speak. And what I want to, um, and I, I have probably an hour, an hour and a half of remaking this video over and over again because I haven't got across everything that I really wanted to say. Um, so hopefully I'll get enough of it across in this video to feel like it's worthy of publishing because I don't want to have to keep posting the same message because it gets lost in the repetition. But anyways, what I'm going to talk about today um, and going into 2020 is exactly that. Why are we doing what we do and what our primary focus has been coerced to be and what it actually should be. So all of us know that, you know, a lot of what we do is influenced by social media, media in general, uh, you know, peers, etc. People that we associate with, etc. And I see in my profession, uh, you know, a lot of people get involved in fitness and that's great. However, a lot of people are getting involved for the wrong reason. There are a lot of people who use fitness or view fitness in the wrong way. Take, for example, the recent Peloton commercial that there was a big uproar about where the, the guy, it was a commercial, and the guy bought his wife a Peloton for like Christmas or something. And so they went through where she started a vlog and how it had a positive effect on her and how it, how she said it changed her life. And people were really upset about that. And there's, there's one thing wrong with this video, which is common nowadays, but it's not that this lady who did not need to lose weight found fulfillment in her fitness. Because we don't, a lot of us associate fitness with weight loss. And that's what a lot of people think. That's all they think in their head is that people who go to the gym are a bunch of fat people who want to not be fat anymore. and Or fat or insecure people who are just so insecure about their personal image. They don't know that there are millions and millions of people who work out for, who don't need to lose weight, who work out for the pure enjoyment of it and the endorphins that you get, the runner's high that you get, the sense of accomplishments that you get. Um, not to mention all of the health benefits that you get regardless of whether you're overweight or not. And so people were mad, they were real mad about this. And fortunately Peloton didn't back down from their messaging. Because it's very, very true that there are people who don't need to lose weight, that find fulfillment, stress relief. There are a lot of people who are going through something um, in their marriage or their workplace or whatever it may be, in their family life, in their home life, who just get a release when they work out. And it's just that a stress relief. It allows you to focus on something else. Whether just sit there, you can you could go out and go shopping and still be stressed out about money or or whatever. All that stuff can lead back to whatever is the cause of your stress. But you get you get a good workout, man. You get really into that thing. You aren't thinking about what you're stressed about for the majority of that workout, especially if you're working out real hard. A lot of people just don't understand that because they haven't experienced it. Um, however, I will say that the mistake that Peloton made was the one it was um, basically associating with the common issue that associates 
fitness with our society now, and that is basically vanity. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people feel like they need to be recognized for everything that they do. So somebody gets in shape, they start a blog, they start taking a bunch of butt pics and posting all over social media. Instead of just allowing it to benefit them and not be the end of it. Everybody needs recognition for everything that they do. Every, every, you know, there's got to be a selfie at every workout. There's got to be, you know, posting about this and posting about that. And there are a lot of people in the gym who are using, who are working out consistently. I train some of them. Some of you that will watch this video, this, I'm talking to you. You hold on to fitness like a life raft like it's saving you from being fat like and that's why you do it and while I like the fact that you're prioritizing your health it's not your life raft or your shovel full of dirt to cover your bad lifestyle habits and I tell people all the time you're one injury away from gaining 20 or 30 pounds if that's you, you're not doing it right. You should you should be able to maintain whatever your body weight range is with your eating habits alone. But I, I really don't want to focus on the physical aspect. I really want to focus on the mental aspect. So in the Bible, and I refer to the Bible because that is my foundation of um information it refers to our inner man um, and uh, Romans 7 22 it talks about our inner man and so that we can have a separate association for our, our outer body which grows old and, and decays over time versus our inner inner person which actually matures over time we do is we end up working out our outer man and trying to get in shape but we don't condition our inner man our inner self because we're so caught up in the outer person and what the appearance is that we can't even take that time to also focus on our inner being and yeah there are some residual benefits from your health that will help with that that will help relieve stress and all that kind of stuff they will help um, inadvertently, but you have to make a conscious effort to work on your inner self and your inner person, speaking positive messages to yourself and not getting brainwashed by social media. We get brainwashed by social media thinking that we have to look a certain way. We have to be able to, you know, we have to be so popular. We have to get so many likes and clicks and all this kind of stuff because that's what we see on social media. And so that's what that's why everybody's following. It's got all these media, we got all these people on social media with all these followers. And what is a bunch of butt poses and all kind of stuff, selfies and implants and butt lifts and uh, Botox and big old eyelashes, weaves and all kind of stuff. And it's not even the real person. It's the, it's the real person is lost somewhere in there trying to gain acceptance and that is that's part of human nature wanting to be accepted by your peers and the people around you I understand that but there's a point where it becomes a detriment to you on your your on the inside when you can only accept yourself based on what you perceive everybody else will accept about you so I have a client um, that I train, and I see this all the time. Um, but this particular day, I was um, I had my camera. I was in the studio taking pictures because my daughter got a hold of my camera. And she was just it's touch screen, and she was just pushing all kinds of buttons, and it was just jacked up all the settings. So I was in there just trying to get it back right, taking some test shots in my studio. One of my clients happened to walk through the frame, 
I'm sending this message directly to you. And she like dove out of the way just to get out of the picture. And I wasn't even gonna post this picture like on social media or anything like that. I was just taking test shots so I could make sure my camera was working. But you could see the the insecurity and the um, uh, the like self. Uh, it, it was like the self consciousness and the self loathing that she has, and you can tell in her language. And I hear this all the time. People calling themselves fat and referring to themselves as fat because that's what they think other people think about them. And while body positivity in a roundabout way addresses this issue because it tells you to, you know, be comfortable with who you are regardless of how you look. I don't support that messaging simply because it does not support a healthy lifestyle. Like they say, just eat your Cheetos and eat your pizza and don't care about what anybody else says. As a trainer and a person who is a health influencer, I can't support that message. I can't support telling people just eat whatever you want and don't care what anybody else thinks. And as I posted in previous videos, what I can say is let's support your lifestyle. Are you doing the right types of things? Are you working out? Are you taking care of your body? Are you meditating? Are you getting enough rest? Are you de-stressing? Are you drinking enough water? If you're doing those things, then no, absolutely you should not care what anybody else has to say about you. Yes, somebody's negative opinion about you is gonna sting, but that's gonna be a temporary emotional issue. If you have people in, in your life that are constantly putting you down, you need to get those people out of your life. So, we really have to start to focus on conditioning our inner self and strengthening our inner self. It's not just about your outward appearance. We've gotten so absorbed with what we have looked like on the outside and our level of success or acceptance is measured by what we see on social media all the time. So you have to be careful who you follow on social media because you'll never be able to live up to those standards. I looked at a picture the other day. This girl had all her abs pictures photoshopped. There's all kind of photoshopped pictures out there. These people don't even look like what they are in the pictures most of the time. People turn in, that's why they turn and point their butt at you so they can hide any type of imperfections they may have in their stomach. Like how many pictures are people going to get the um, exorcist neck looking backwards at the camera so they want you to see their good side of their face and their butt. Like that's what they're showing. That's the primary thing that we get to look at when people are trying to present themselves. And make no mistake about it, these people are not happy either. These people are not happy. There's no amount of likes and clicks on social media that's going to make you happy. No amount of money that's going to make you happy. There are people who commit suicide, who work out all the time. There are people who commit suicide, who have all the money in the world. There are people who commit suicide, who act like they're the happiest person in the world on Facebook and Instagram. So you have to take some time and focus on your inner self. If you notice my scruffy appearance, um, I'm in a period of that now where I'm just focusing on my inner self because I because I really needed it. I needed to take some time and get myself right mentally because it's easy in the fitness industry to become self-absorbed and just, you know, people give you accomplishment and go straight to your head and then all you think that you amount to is you know posting pictures and selfies and all this kind of stuff and you know me as a trainer I, I try to look the part as a trainer but I don't want to be absorbed by that because that's not like I shouldn't have to look I should I shouldn't look contradictory to my profession but I shouldn't have to look a certain way uh, or meet some certain kind of standard to get people to convince people to train with me um, so I but let me say this. I, I only know one kind of way to work. 
and I work all out. That's how that's how I've always been. So I'm not going to change that, but I'm not going to let that. I'm not going to let the the social influence the t- misdirect me into the wrong direction. And so I felt the need to focus on my inner self and not so much my outer self right now. And I hope that you guys will take some time to really look at yourself on the inside. Start speaking positive things to yourself and not be so absorbed with how you look or how much you weigh or anything like that. Become, but become more absorbed in how you treat yourself and, you know, the things that you, um, the relationships that you build. Because ultimately, that's what really matters. All this surface level stuff is going to go away anyway. You're going to get old. You're going to be saggy and wrinkly and all that kind of stuff. And everybody's going to move on to the next booty model. That's going to be the next popular person. But these people, you know, on social media got to live up to the standard all the time. And there's so much pressure. You got in public. People see you. You're out of shape. That's why you see them wear all the big clothes and stuff when they're out of shape, out of season or whatever. And then they put on all the, you know, nothing dudes with stringers on and nipples hanging out and tight booty shorts. I mean, I mean, how much I'm like, I like if I could see like 80% of your thigh, that ain't too cool on your, that ain't too good of a look. Um, so, you know, I just want to kind of redirect this as we go into this new year. Um, people that follow me and listen to me, to focusing on our, our inner man or woman. You know what I'm saying? Let's focus on the quality of person that we are and not just how we look or what the scale says, not being obsessed about, you know, scale stuff. Because only then can you really understand who you are, what your flaws are, and how to fix those flaws. Otherwise, you're just shoveling dirt on your mess. And if you get injured or something or something like that, then you're going to lose it anyway. And then you're going to be unhappy because you only use fitness as that that life raft to keep you afloat. You know what I'm saying? And that's not what it is. It's supposed to get enjoyment and release and relief and, um, you know, camaraderie and all that kind of stuff. That's why we do. That's why we do fitness. It's not just about how we look and how much popularity we can get all the time. So, um, going into 2020, start to work on your inner person. Don't accept, uh, where, you know, like people are, are claiming like, Oh, I have an eating disorder and all this stuff. You have to, you have to mentally toughen yourself on the inside. If you just habitually make bad decisions, that's not a disorder. That's just you making bad decisions. You toughen yourself by doing some fasting. Fast, do intermittent fasting. Fast for 24 hours. Stop eating all the junk food for a period of time. And don't just every time you fall off the wagon, just throw some scapegoat disorder out there that somebody made up to to make you not feel bad about what you're doing to your body. There's got to be some accountability and some truth being spoken here. Instead of everybody trying to be politically correct and trying to be all soft and not holding people accountable for their own actions. If you're overweight because of stuff that you did, it's your fault. Now do something about it. It's as simple as that. I'm not going to beat around the bush. I'm not going, oh yeah, it wasn't. No. You did it. You undo it. That's how it works. You dig a hole. You got to climb your way out. That's what life is. But I want you guys, even though we're going to, you know, we're going to keep it real. You got to stay encouraged. You got to keep pressing. All right. You might have messed up, but there's always another day for you to fix it. All right. If you got another day, you can fix it. Start now. Don't start tomorrow. Start today. Every day for the rest of your life. Plan for the rest of your life. Plan to make that change every day for the rest of your life. It's the little things that add up. It's not some big decision. It's small decisions that happen every day. You are what you do on a consistent basis. That's a quote I read on social media somewhere. But anyways, guys, I want to keep this video. I want to stop it. Not 
make it too long. Hope it's helpful for you guys. It's 2020. Time for us to get our minds right. All right. All of this stuff, superficial. We got to get our minds right. And only then we will be happy and healthy and fulfilled. All right. Holla at y'all next video. Peace out.